Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you a plugin called Soft Gradient Background from Red Giant Universe. This is a deceptively simple plugin that actually can work as either a generator in generating its own content, or it can kind of work as a filter working on top of the existing image. So I'll show you both examples. And the first I'll show you is how to use it as a generator. Now when I say generator, I mean that it is going to generate its own content and not show the original footage through. So in this case, I would want something like a dummy piece of video, like a piece of black video that I can drop into my timeline. So I would take this black video, drop it into video one, and I'll apply under effects, Video Effects, Universe Generators, Soft Gradient Background. Now there's basically four components that make up what this background is. What your source image is. Is it either the source fractal noise or is it working with the actual source image we've applied it to? So in this case, I'll just use the fractal noise. And if I hit play, we can see that there is an evolving fractal noise moving in the background. We can adjust the fractal noise in the fractal noise section here using the loop duration adjusting the overall scale, its brightness and contrast, aspect, and things like that. That should all be pretty straightforward to figure out. Now next we have a color map and this is basically a gradient that is applied on top of the fractal noise. It can be either linear top to bottom or radial from uh, radiating, at, radiating from the center. And you can adjust all four colors in here simply by clicking and picking your favorite colors like that. Now you can adjust the points at which we shift from one color to the next using these uh, mid-high adjust and mid-low adjust points here. Next we have a photographic texture overlay that you can see in there under texture. There's six different textures to choose from. These are all shot fairly large and are seamlessly tiling. So if you scale them up or down, you shouldn't see any edges on these. You can move the center, the opacity, the contrast, everything again should be pretty straightforward. On top of that, there is a vignette. This can be a good way to darken the edges or perhaps add a contrasting color to the edges of the background. Now I mentioned this works as an effect as well. That relates back to the source image. If we switch it from fractal noise to the source, we can let the original source video show through and we can affect it. So let me jump over to my next clip here and I've got this applied to a piece of footage. I'll turn this off so you can see what it looks like. So we've got some beach footage that looks like this and I've applied the soft gradient background effect. Now let's turn this back on and set the source image to source. Now we can see that we have the original luminance from the source image and you can also see a little bit of the source movement back there. So let's go to the source adjust and you can see that we've got this source blur which we can turn up and down if you'd like to have the original footage kind of come through a little bit more like that or we can blur it out like so. We have overall saturation controls here which by default is turned all the way to zero so we just see the luminance of the original but if you'd like to see more you can turn up the saturation like that as well as the exposure. So in this case, fractal noise is not being used, but color map, texture, and vignette are also being used uh, in addition to this source. There's a few different presets in here to get you started, and these can use either the source or the fractal noise, as I showed you. So this is a very simple but very useful background generator for your projects. Another great part of Red Giant Universe. My name's Harry Frank for Red Giant. Thank you so much for watching.